If you want to learn anything well, you look for a teacher who has mastered the subject you want to learn. Why should you think differently when it comes to your spiritual life? To find a way out of suffering, you must find a guide who has already found the way out and can show you how to do it yourself. To find a spiritual teacher is the most fundamental aspect of the Buddhist path. It is not possible to learn to be enlightened from books alone. You need a living teacher to personally guide you. Jaisong Kappa attained enlightenment and because of his great compassion gave teachings on the graduated path to enlightenment so others could be free. He taught the first step on the path is to devote yourself to a teacher who can properly guide you. In this program, we will learn how to recognize a perfectly qualified teacher and how rare it is to be able to take them as your guide. want to be happy. When you think your destiny is in the hands of God or everything happens randomly, then you feel you have no control. There is no chance to create your future. In Buddhism, the recognition of the law of cause and effect, also known as karma, is a fundamental key to understand how you've created your world with actions of your body, speech, and mind. When you truly understand karma, then you realize you are responsible for everything in your life. It is incredibly empowering to know that your future is in your hands. In this program, we will learn the basic laws of karma and how to change your world. When we are uncomfortable or anything unpleasant happens, we look to take refuge in something. Usually we turn to food, alcohol, sex, drugs, money, power, or relationships. But none of these things gives us the lasting protection or satisfaction we're looking for. When you understand you can't find lasting happiness in samsara, then the desire to find true refuge becomes strong. In Buddhism, we take refuge in the three jewels, the Buddha, Dharma, and Sangha. The Buddha is like the doctor who understands your disease and knows how to treat it. The Dharma, his teachings, is the medicine he prescribes and the Sangha is the spiritual community that helps you to take the medicine. To take refuge is to finally seek protection from suffering in a way that can really help you. When we think about the ultimate nature of reality and what causes us to suffer, this is the true meaning of refuge. 